Hey, this is Jeremy from Unito. Today I'll be showing you a common Jira Asana use case that leverages Unito for project management. So I split my screen here between Asana, Jira, and Unito. Uh, on the right, uh, you can see uh, this, this project management use case, uh, which is already living inside of Unito. Um, we call this uh, interface a workflow. And in this workflow, we can see the Jira projects down here that correspond to this wicked project in Jira here, and this building Oz project management Asana project that you can see in my upper left hand side here. So why are we doing this? While our developers and scrum masters prefer to use Jira to plan their sprints and estimate the work that's to be done, our project managers work with the rest of the organization out of Asana to provide clear timelines, expectations, and due dates to various stakeholders across the organization. As a result, Unito helps those teams stay in the tools that are most relevant to them without having to spend a lot of time copying and pasting information across those different systems. So let me show you guys a little bit of how that works. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new Asana task in this Asana project called Flying Monkeys version two. This new task is a new initiative that our project managers have scoped out. Um, and they want to send it over to the Scrum Masters and to the developers to um, plan and, and uh, estimate. So how are they going to do that? Well, first they can add a little bit more detail, uh, like with bigger wings this time and say that the start, this uh, task hasn't been started yet. And then what they'll do is they're going to add a tag to this task called wicked. Now this tag corresponds to my Jira project down here, and it's going to act as my trigger in this, in this scenario. Um, you can use a wide variety of triggers in Asana and in Jira, custom fields, assignees, but I'm using tags here for simplicity. Now, once I've added this tag, Unito is going to, in the background, pick up this issue and create it in Jira automatically. So now where I would have had to remember to copy this over manually in the past and put it in the right project, Unito automatically detected that this flying monkey V2 um, issue in Jira should be created here and updated the same fields as it has in Asana. For example, it made sure to include the description of with bigger wings this time, and even add a handy link here for uh, reference to any of the teams in Jira. Now this doesn't stop here, right? All of the synchronization is two ways. If I add a comment in Jira called, uh, I'm gonna get started on this, change the progress of this task from to do into in progress. And even if I prioritize this and say, actually, because this is such a big issue, I'm going to plan it into this sprint. All of this information is going to get picked up by Unito and synced back up into my Asana project. Now, this means that where I would have had to, as a project manager, go into JIRA to monitor the status of this issue. All of that is done automatically, uh, completely in the background without having to add that extra mental load to your teams. And so as you can see, the Flying Monkey V2 task in Asana has been moved from the planning section into the inactive sprint section of my Asana project task progress has been changed to in progress. And if I can go in and see the details, I'll be able to see the comment that my um, colleague has posted in JIRA as well. So now let's take a quick step back. We've had a chance to see uh, what Unito can do within those projects. Let's take a look at what's going on in the background here. So in this workflow, I can look at the specific rules that I've set up between my Wicked project 
in my building Oz project in Asana by clicking into this node here called my flow. Once I click into my flow, you're going to see the couple of different options that I've set up and configured here to get it working the way that I have. The first step is just choosing the projects that I'm looking to sync between Asana and Jira and the right accounts. Next, the first bit of configuration is choosing whether your flow is going to be one way or two ways. A one way flow will only sync tasks from Asana into Jira or from Jira into Asana. Whereas a two way flow, like I have now, will allow tasks created in Jira to sync into Asana and the other way around automatically. Once you select the direction that task creation should happen, you can go back into the overview and also select the rules that I want to put in place on this flow. These rules are what I mentioned before in terms of triggers. They're simple if and and statements that are set up so that in this case, only tasks in this Asana project with the wicked label and that are open are going to sync into my Jira project. Then when the, the tasks are synced over, it's going to also keep them in sync two ways. If I want to add new trigger, I can select from any of Asana's existing fields and I can do the same thing on the Jira side as well. Once I've selected which work items are going to sync from Asana to Jira, the last step is going to be modifying what information on those tasks is going to sync over. You can do that by editing the field mapping. In the field mapping, by default, things like the title, due dates, and assignees are going to be mapped over. But I can add other elements of work, like the issue and task type of these items. Once they're mapped, the two fields are going to be synced. So any information that I put in Jira is going to be reflected in Asana and vice versa. Once I'm all done editing a flow, I can hit save and choose to select either to have it impact retroactively or just from this point forward, which is what I'm going to choose here. And that's it. Once you're all done setting up a flow, you can go back to the workflow designer view. If I add a block of work, I can choose to create a new flow or if I want to go back to uh, Jira or Asana. I can see how these, uh, I can see how these uh, tasks and issues have been synced across. So if you have any other questions about Unito, feel free to message us or send us an email at hello at unito.io. And we'll be super happy uh, to help you get up and running in sync.